as Julius Creed with the quick get up. The kip, or his isn't even kip up. He goes for the RKO. Randy Orton with the RKO! Alright, everybody, so welcome back to the channel here. It is me, Jason, back on the channel. Let's get right into it. Alright, so, um... Uh, obviously you can see you didn't, you guys didn't get to see any of the booking stuff. Um, my video of the, like, the booking part got a little bit messed up. Um, so this is the card that you see. Uh, we're still going to spectate the main event and everything. But also, before we actually get too much into the video, I want to tell you guys something about my channel. I want to let you guys on some information about what I'm going to, what I'm planning, um, on doing in the future. So, um... As you know, as of right now, I post pretty much every day, um, except for the weekends. But I'm going to be changing that. I'm going to be posting a video on Monday. That's likely going to be a rebuild, challenge, stuff like that. And then my King series on Wednesday, and then this WCW series on Friday. Those are going to be the only three videos I post throughout the whole week. So it's going to be three videos a week. Still pretty good. I just want to up the quality and try actually growing um, this channel. Because as of right now, the pace of growing this channel of subscribers and views has been really, really slow. I've been doing this for a month now and only 34 subscribers. Um, I really, I'm, I'm wanting to grow this channel. Um, I am 14 years old, by the way, if you did not know that. Um, I'm wanting this, by the time I'm 16, I want to be making at least a little bit of money off of YouTube. So then I can have this as my job because I really, really love making YouTube content. It's really, really fun. The editing, the thumbnail, everything is so much fun to me. Um, I would love it if this could be my full-time job someday. Um, but I'm going to be posting three videos a week. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, the two days I'm not posting videos other than the weekend, I'm not going to do anything on the weekend. Um, I'm probably going to start live streaming on uh, at least once a week on one of those two days. Um, but I just want to let you guys know what I'm planning on doing. So you're all in the loop and everything. But uh, thank you all for all your support so far. As we get into this video, um, watching the opener tag team match, and Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens have the tag team championships in a good match. I'll take it with a level two rivalry now. Damian Priest with a weak promo, but I don't care. The rivalry grew. That is amazing. Um, Gigi Dolan versus Asuka in a TLC match. Asuka wins in a good match. The rivalry grows. That is good. Bianca Belair, good promo that she finally has a rivalry with Maurice. Um, tag team match. And Shotzi and Tamina. Shamina end up winning that one. And Cash Suplex with a good promo up three. And then Randy Orton versus Julius Creed. We're going to spectate this one. Here comes Creed. Julius Creed. Creed. Julius Creed into it here. Look at that pro, or not that promo, that entrance. He looks in pumped, or looks in, looking pumped up for this um, hardcore, um, ta or not, uh, hardcore championship match. Oh, here it is. Bro, I wish we had the music on right now, but I don't want to get copyrighted. But boy, you don't know how much I wish his music was, and I really like his um, entrance. But here it is, the hardcore champion, Randy Orton, one of my favorites of all time. I've only got, I've only like been a fan of wrestling uh, since like December of 2022. Um, so it's been really, really recent that I've actually become like a fan. But boy, Randy Orton is easily one of my favorites. Champion right here, the hardcore champ, Randy Orton. Uh, he's definitely one of my favorites. Um, who? He's been part of Legacy, Evolution. He's He's been part of a lot of them. Ooh, Randy. <laughs> Randy. Orton with his entrance here. We're going to skip the rest. And we're going to get into this fight. Oh, they're chanting for Randy. Oh, my bad. They're chanting for Randy to win. It is a tables match. 
Uh, it's a little bit slow, but it's better than it was before. All right. Brutus bringing him back. And a reversal from Randy Orton, kicking him in the gut with the first offense of the game, not with the grapple. What is he going to do? Randy Orton looking to probably get him a kick. Boom, kicked him in the gut. Another kick to the gut. And a clothesline from Randy Orton. Randy Orton with another knee dot or knee drop right on Brutus Creed's head. Brutus is getting a whooping right now. And he's going for another one. And another knee drop from Randy Orton. Randy Orton stomped on Julius' face and he is now bleeding. As Randy Orton, he's going for the submission move, even though you can't win by submission. You have to put him through a table. I don't know what Randy's thinking, but I mean, hey, I guess it worn him down. Oh, he is doing a lot of damage. I guess he's just going to wear him down. And he finally got out. And Randy Orton, finally, he's finally getting actually hit now as Julius Creed with a kick. Grapple. What is he looking for? Got him on his shoulders. The fireman's carry. And it's a reversal from Randy Orton. Julius Creed getting the elbows to his head. As Randy Orton with the punch to the head. And then he, and now he's going for it. What is it? Oh, he's going for his signature. He's going for the middle rope DDT. Here it is. Here it is. Randy Orton. With the DDT. Oh my goodness. Randy now with the RKO. If, is there like an RKO off the, onto the table? Because that would be sick. If, like, they jumped off the... T Bro, if they jumped... If Randy was on it... I'm th I just thought of a WWE spot that they should do in real life on a tables match. So he should go up at some high flare. I don't care who. But as we're watching Randy Orton just walk around, I don't know what's going on with him. They should have it be a tables match, right? And then a high flare, he's on there, and he goes... Oh, he's now he's just taunting. And the high flare goes for a frog splash under Randy Orton onto the table. And then us, Julius Creed, attacks Randy Orton. And then Randy Orton rolls off and RKO's him through the table. How cool would that be? That would be sick. That would be like the Bourne guy. Evan Bourne, I believe is what his name was. Uh, when he did like uh, the moonsault off the top rope onto Randy. And then he got the RKO. That would be super cool. As Randy with the scoop slam. As Julius Creed with the quick get up. The kip. Or his isn't even kip up. He goes for the RKO. Randy Orton with the RKO. Why are they just going to keep doing uh, 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 and then they just go through? Randy Orton going to the top rope. What is Randy doing from the top rope? He's not a high flyer. Does he know what he's doing from the top? Frog splash. He missed. Ooh. And then he gets big booted in the forehead. Foot to face. As Randy Orton comes by with a neck breaker. Randy Orton stopping Julius Creed from whatever he was trying to do. Randy Orton, you gotta get back in the ring. Randy's just walking around, bro. You gotta do something, Randy. Randy. Oh! He got the punch in the face, Julius Creed. So he's trying to finish this. Uh, why, why can Randy... Okay, there we go. Randy is getting back into the ring here. All right, is Randy Orton going to try to finish it with the table? He's nearing a second finisher. Uh, but Randy Orton has the table. Julius Creed doesn't like that. He decides to stop Orton and throws him onto the ropes. And then with the... the I don't even know what that was. I thought it was going to be a low blow for a second. Look kind of like the kitchen sink, but with his arm. Um, but here, Randy Orton... With the dive to the knees, Julius Creed back on the ground. As Randy Orton grappling Julius Creed, going for the suplex onto the table. Boom! Ouch! Right onto the table. They're chanting for Randy. Randy's getting the chance. Randy, 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 Randy. As Randy sets up a table. Randy Orton, one of my favorites. 
I've actually never seen Julius Creed fight in the WWE. Oh, for the DDT. Julius is already bleeding. Why you gotta do this to him? He almost, Randy almost has another finisher. As he goes for the punch. And another punch. He looks like he's going for the combo here. And the uppercut has him leaning on the table. Creed is leaning on the table. As Randy Orton going for the suplex to finish the match. Can Randy retain if he does not reversal? And Randy Orton wins the tables match over Julius Creed and retains the hardcore championship. Randy Orton is your is still your WCW hardcore champion. WCW hardcore champion Viper Randy Orton. Randy Orton looking happy to retain, obviously. Randy is still the champ. As we see him winning it. It was a good match, so pretty much every match this week, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure all matches this week were actually uh just had the good rating on them. I mean, hey, I'll take it. I'll take that means no good booking, no bad booking. Alright, so Randy Orton, good match. They now also have a rivalry. So two, we've got a lot of rivalries this week um, per, starting here as uh, it is a title match for the tag championships between Alexa Bliss Bailey um, and Dewdrop and Indy Hartwell for the tag champs on SmackDown. And Bailey and um, Alexa Bliss win in a four star match. Kevin Nash. So, a, a legend here with a good promo. Demon Finn Balor versus LA Knight. That would be super cool for the Intercontinental Championship. Or not for the Intercontinental Championship. But Balor is the champion. As the rivalry goes to level 3 for them. And a 4 in or, in a, or in a 3 and a half great start. Or great match. Uh, now a fatal... Or not a fatal 4. A 4... Or a tag match again. Between Seth Rollins and Bobby Lashley. Don't know how good that team would be in real life. But it's a good match uh, with... Cody Rhodes and R Truth. The fact that they got Cody Rhodes on this team just to demote him to a tag, um, a tag person, is absolutely crazy. But um, okay. And then Carmelo Hayes versus Ivar is your main event in a backstage brawl. So a very expensive match, and it's a great match. And the rivalry grows to level two for them. I'm gonna be going more in depth in the uh with the other people because you didn't guys didn't get to see the booking booking, uh, but uh. Nikita Lyons versus Ronda Rousey in a Hell in a Cell match. Uh, 35 grand spent on that. Let's see how good that is. Not for the championship, but Ronda does have the championship. And Ronda wins that one. And Nikita Lyons is injured for three weeks, so that sucks for them. Uh, but a four-star amazing match. Roman Reigns with the promo. It's just good. I mean, he's not a great promo in real life. Uh, Cruiser versus Cruiser. Shelton Benjamin versus Dominic Mysterio uh, in a backstage brawl. Why are they wanting to push this? Uh, it's a good match somehow, um, even though they're both cruisers, as Shayna Baszler with an okay promo does not go up at all. Tommaso Ciampa versus Shinsuke Nakamura um, for the uh, United States Championship right there. The current champ, uh, I believe, is Tommaso Ciampa, but Shinsuke is now the champion, if he wasn't before, in a great match. Veer Mahan with a good promo, even though he only has a one promo skill. Uh, for two plus two popularity, and now it is Ricochet and Braun Strowman versus Gunther and Angel Garza, or just Angel now, I guess, um, for the tag or for the NXT Tag Champs. It was mediocre, so they're going to get bad booking. That is amazing for us. Um, now Raw here, Jake the Saint, Roberts, Madcap Moss, and Johnny Gargano in a triple threat, uh, just a normal triple threat match. That should be pretty solid, honestly. Johnny Gargano ends up winning that one in it. Just a mediocre match. So they're also probably going to have bad booking. But a Logan Paul, a player that I, or a superstar that I would probably be one if I did a redraft um, with an okay promo of zero popularity, though. Um, and Donna Matrix. So they also have a, uh, a enhancement talent uh, teaming up with Rhea Ripley. It's sad that they also got Rhea Ripley just to put her in the tags. Like, bro, she's better than that. Uh, but that is a disappointing match. Oh, so maybe they won't get poor booking. They're just going to have a terrible show. But that starts a rivalry there. 
Charlotte Flair with a promo, also uh, no effect. John Cena with 17 stamina going against J.D. McDonough. Uh, no championships are on the line, yet both of them have a championship. Um, in a last minute standing match, John, you're going to get injured. They are not they are not booking you very well. John Cena wins, and he, somehow he doesn't get injured, but it was an okay match. Um, Commander Aziz here with a okay promo for 5,000 fans for them. And main event, backstage brawl between Rand, or not Randy Orton, uh, Finn Balor and Edge. It was a great one. It brings the rivalry to level two. Um... And for us, we had three, three, two and a half, and three. So we were just solid all around. We had a reverie there, a reverie there, a reverie there, a reverie there, and a reverie there. So we did really good in terms of how we got reveries. They got good booking. Good booking, poor finale is uh, what Raw got. I don't know how it was the best of all of their shows. Oh, wait. What, what? Nobody had poor finale, actually. Yeah, they did. I don't know what's wrong with this. Now they have good booking again. I don't know. It's broken, bro. Uh, but that, that concludes this. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are an incredible tag team. They better be. Um, Roxanne Perez is perfect for a tag, or for a tables match. Put her in, put her in another. I will be sure to do that. We got 43,000 fans and $41,000. Um, really happy to see all of this. Sami Zayn settles the score with MVP. Uh, great to see Asuka in another TLC match. Yes. Um, shots into me and I have no chemistry. I don't care. Um, all right. So then for SmackDown, 55,000 fans, but negative $1,000. Elvis Bliss and Bailey are a great tag team. Okay. Um, 43,000 fans and minus $42,000, though, for NXT 2.0. And 47,000 fans and negative $44,000 for, um, Raw. So we're probably going to be... Oh, I did not mean to skip past that. That is uh, my bad. But we'll be able to see it here. Oh, so I have to do these real quick. Just another note. Uh, Asuka's below 40. Gotcha. Uh, hey, boss, I've been talking with Priest a lot lately, and I think we should team up in a tag match. Uh, sure. Yes, that'll happen. That can happen. Oh no! I said they're not gonna do that. Oh, I thought I, I thought I said yes. Cheating me in the last match. Um. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna get that. Um. Where is it? Season. So we are still in third, is what it looks like. Yeah, we're still in third. Um. We're slowly having one of the best budgets. We started with the worst budget, but now we're about the same as everyone else. Um, but I'm pretty satisfied with what, uh, what this is looking like so far. Uh, book 15 shows with a title match. We're going to do that easily. Um, but power cards, let me see. Hmm. Times two special effects cost. So next week is, um, Backlash, if I am correct. Have at least one Iron Man match, but, uh, Promise Rematch, cool. Uh, let me look at the roster, manage roster. Uh, we're going to do it by stamina. So 88 and 83. They're going to be that Iron Man match. Bet, 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 bet. Um, and then I only have one player that I really have to worry about their stamina too much. Um, but this is going to be good. Yes, I'm... Uh, and then we're going to have a triple threat between Kevin Owens. Okay, okay. I'm not going to say any more because I don't want to spoil anything, but I know pretty much exactly what I'm going to be doing. And in fact, uh, just so I don't forget, I'm going to be filming the next episode literally right after I finish this episode. Um, so watch out for that. Uh, but that is it for this video. If you all did enjoy, please make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss any of this series, the King series, or any videos I post on Monday or when I stream. Uh, you got to be watching out for that. But thank you all for watching. Until next time. Pete.